Temptation, and ultimately sin, is always about taking something good and twisting it. Temptation is never obviously bad. It can't be. Otherwise, we would not be attracted to it. it, it if it were bad, there wouldn't be something that we know could be a good. Um, temptation, and ultimately sin, is always about taking something good and twisting it. Twisting it. So, I, I can definitely remember my mother saying to me as a little kid, now, um, you know, we'll have chocolate on such and such a time. Uh, but I knew where the baker's chocolate was hidden. And I was like, all I have to do is scramble up on top of that thing and go reaching in and get it. But it was, in fact, baker's unsweetened chocolate. So when I took that big old bite, I soon learned um, maybe it wasn't all good. <laughs> it was pretty sour. I had to spit it out as a kid. Uh, temptations like that. You know, it takes something, obviously chocolate's wonderful for most people, unless you're allergic. Uh, but too much of it will get sick. It's pretty obvious. And that's analogously true of so many things. It's never obviously bad. It's our motivation. It's our uh, underlying parts that we begin to realize often after we've given in to temptation. And by the way, at that point, that's a great time to start the second prayer, help. I need help. <laughs> help me, God. I can't do this by myself. I can't. I get caught on similar temptations to gossip, oh, that juicy little piece of something. And man, then it's out there and people's reputations are ruined. And uh, I need to make reparation for that in some way. <laughs>